I'm over 30 years in textile mills and uh, I, was I was starting in uh, the chemical industry and I switched to the textile mills and I managed different textile mills and I was involved since maybe 20 years in developing uh, environmentally friendly products. We start uh, in a textile mill with a questionnaire so, and with some data they have to collect. So the first time we have to know which kind of chemistry is involved, which processes are involved. And if we have this figure from the company, we put it in our mathematical model. And then we are very well prepared and then we make the screening on site. So we know something about the company and then we can ask the right question. And then we go through the whole factory, we start uh, on one end and then we end at the end of pipe. So we check uh, every input, how they manage dye process, how they uh, manage coating process, the use of chemicals and dye stuffs. And we end up afterwards, after this uh, screening, with a report. Then we have to go home to, our, to do our homework and we will come back maybe six or eight weeks later with a report and with recommendation from our side how they can optimize the process and reduce maybe the energy, the chemical consumption, maybe to optimize the performance of a product. Our input stream is based on five pillars. The first is resource productivity, then water emission, air emission, occupational health and the workplace situation. So every component we check on these five pillars. And after this uh, product screening process, we have a rating system and we can rate these different components if it's a dye stuff, an auxiliary, or a coating agent, for example. We have to consider that every textile mill is different. So, and every local law is different and we have minimum criteria they have to fulfill. If a, a company hasn't a wastewater treatment, that wouldn't be a Blue Sign certified company. So that's a minimum standard is they need a wastewater treatment. And we try with our systematic to optimize their end of pipe solution. If we take care to the inputs, we have automatically a positive effect in the output. If it's air emission, if it's wastewater treatment. And a very important point, if we can take out some critical component in the input, automatically the workplace is in a better situation. An additional effect in our screening is, after this process we know the whole consumption of energy, of chemicals and so on. And we compare their situation with best available technology. That means we show them how far away they are from the best technique. And uh, this is a unique tool and a very good information for the middle and the top management. If there is a resource saving potential and this is automatically also a cost saving potential. So they can save resources and in the same time they can save maybe some money and this is always one-to-one -one cash flow so it's interesting to know for the textile mill if they have as a cost saving potential. If we can optimize the process and if we can reduce the ecological footprint and to develop intelligent products that means with the same high performance and less resource consumption, then I'm very happy. That's our target, to help brands, to help textile mills, to optimize their process, to reduce the ecological footprint. Many textile mills have done in the past a lot to reduce their ecological footprint, and they optimize their process. So there, is, there are many textile mills with a high-end production and with very good products and maybe for a brand it's difficult to find out which one is the best. Lusan can help a brand to select uh, the best vendor in their supply chain 
and a brand can motivate their supply chain to follow such a standard to holistically reduce the footprint. Mm -hmm.